Hello students, this is Nathan Bryan from the Digital Monkey School. This is lecture one of Beginner's Maya course. For today's class, we are going to be discussing the overall HUD for Maya, including the tools to manipulate objects in the scene. When you first open up Maya and create an object, you're going to see uh, wireframes of them. These are good and all, but we want to actually have something to view. So we're going to go over the keys to change between the ability to view the objects. These are through the number keys on your keyboard. So four is going to be wireframe. Five is gray. Six is textured, but as there are no textures yet, these are just the basic gray cube circle we're just going to see the basic gray for seven you're gonna see it turns black that's because we have no lights in our scene uh, if we had a light you'd, you're gonna see a basic indication of shadows it's not gonna be the final render but you're gonna be able to see something um, we're gonna go back to five now so we can see the gray uh, one two and three are specialty keys uh, these are not for rendering purposes, but they're sort of for sampling. So they get to see what the object would look like if it were smoother. Uh, one is going to be the basic, you know, what the object looks like. Two, you're going to see what the object looks like as wireframe, and then a smooth version of it underneath. Three, you're going to see... Uh, an indication of what it would look like smoothed. But if we were to render these, it's going to end up looking the exact same as the hard surface version. So with the, that in mind, we're going to start talking about how to manipulate these objects. The keys to control them are Q, W, E, and R on the keyboard. And you'll notice that it's flipping through these right here. These are probably the most used options in Maya, which is why the keys are right up there on the left-hand corner of your keyboard right across the top. Q, W, E, and R. Q is the selection tool. This is the tool you would use to select things as with any of these others selected you can end up like moving things around instead of selecting the object itself. Rotation allows you to rotate an object. Scale allows you to scale it. So with the translate, rotate, and scale tools you have an ability to scale it in all directions or rotate it in any direction or translate it in any direction. For translation, selecting from the center will translate it in respect to your camera. So wherever your camera is, it will move perpendicular to your camera. Rotation, we have a circle around the outside which is yellow which allows you to rotate in respect to your camera. If you select between the, the circles, you can rotate in all directions. For the scale, we have a little yellow cube here which allows you to scale in all directions. Going back up to translate, if we want to move in just one direction, we can move it in one of the x, y, or z coordinates. The x, y, and z coordinates are sort of universal for 3D programs. Uh, we can see the, the map of it in the corner here. Put this up against something gray. So you can see that there's a little line that has, you know, has a y at the top, and that's saying up and down. So y is up and down. X is side to side and Z is front to back. 
These are important if you wanted to be extremely precise. Say I wanted to move this sphere exactly one digit in the Z direction. So remember, Z is front to back. We want to go back one digit. So that's a negative one in the translate Z. So I can type it in over here in this corner, like I just did. Hit Enter, and you see it moves back one digit. For the Rotate tool, if you want to rotate it in one direction, you have these green, red, and blue circles that you can rotate. Just select along the circle and drag it, and it rotates in that one direction. For scale, you have the red, green, and blue cubes that you can move around, and it scales it in individual directions. These are useful tools. I suggest that you get yourself comfortable with the hotkeys for them, which are Q, W, E, and R. If um, for some reason your object is too large and you can't select one of the tools, either translate, rotate, or scale, you can change the size of them by hitting the plus or minus on your keyboard. So it would be hard to rotate this because we can't see the you know, rotation poles. So I'm going to hit minus. You can see it brings it down a little bit. Still too large. Minus, minus. That's about good right there. Now I can manipulate this object in any way. All right. So there you have it. There are the basic tools for manipulating objects. In the next course, we are going to discuss how to create objects in the scene. Have a nice day.